Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, add uh, products with variant dropdowns, um, add tracking per variant, um, add individual images, and add uh, pricing, etc. Um, this is an update to an older video that we had on this channel. Um, so if you found that uh, this video great, congratulations. And here we go. Okay. So uh, I don't have any products in this store yet, I don't believe. So let me take a look. Or collection, so let me see. I've got none, so let me create a collection, and we'll just call it uh, test, or let's just call it um, let's call it uh, uh, beauty or hair care, or skin care. Let's call it just skin care for the heck of it, right? Okay, so one word. There we go. All right, so we can use our little, uh, put our description in here, or we can use our AI or whatever. Uh, manual, I'm just gonna leave it set up as manual. We're not gonna cover going over, creating the collection and how it's assigned and all that in here. So I'm just gonna create this for the, um, for the video. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to products. So we're gonna add a product. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna call the first one, um, I'm not even sure this is right, but one ounce um, argon oil. Okay, and uh, or actually, let me go argon oil. Let me just call it argon oil, and then uh, this is my R. This is my oil. All right, and then here I'm gonna be adding images um, for this product. So let me go and find these right here. All right, so that image is going to show up first, and these will be on the side. I can save this now if I wanted to. I need to put the price and everything else in here. But if I wanted to see how this looks, I can go preview. It's going to open up in another tab, and it's going to show me I've got my argon oil, and I have nothing, right? So <laughs> here are my extra images. This is the Dawn theme. So if you want to try another theme, you can do that. Um, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter what theme you have. Um, it will add the product exactly the same. It's just going to look different on the front end here. Okay, so now we're going to go in and uh, scroll down here. So if you look at this, uh, lotions and moisturizers, they've updated Shopify to a point where it actually is helping you out a lot more now. So this category is something that Google will use, which is really cool. So now we can actually have that. So if we decide to um, um, market our products on Google, the category will already be there. Okay, so then we're going to put the price of our main product in here. Let's just say it's uh, uh, $19.95 just for the hell of it. And then compare price, I'm just going to put in, uh, it was how much money? It was $25. Bucks. Okay, so display a markdown, enter the value higher than your price, blah, blah, blah. So these are little uh, question marks too, actually help you out and put it in here. So cost per item, I know it cost me $3 to buy that. It's going to tell me how much I got for my profit. Um, my SKU, you're going to want to put your own SKU numbers if you can. So for your own tracking, I'm just going to put ARG uh, 101. And then barcode, so if you actually have a physical, a real G10, just don't make, make stuff up here. ISBN, UPC, G10, don't just make it up if you don't know what it is. Because if you decide to sell on Google later, this is what they're going to use to classify your product and, or Amazon, right? Whatever. So if you decide to sell over there, they're not going to accept it because you have the wrong one in there because it may be identified. Your product may already have a G10, an ISBN, a UPC, whatever. Okay. Um, so we're going to track quantity, and we're not going to continue selling when it's out of stock. Um, so there is a thing in here that says this won't affect Shopify POS. So what's kind of cool about that is that the Shopify POS, if you decide to use it at your location, um, and you have Shopify open, and you have this selected, it'll just keep selling it. So... All right, so let's give this thing a weight and call it one. Um, and then here are my variants, right? So, okay, so we're going to select our variants here. So we have options. And then if we look at this, uh, I clicked on uh, create custom option, and I've got um, package type, product form, age group, all this stuff that comes up and where it's grabbing this information from is from that category. So this lotions and moisturizer. So it's going to default and show me a bunch of stuff already in there. So I want to put my own in here. I don't want to use any of this stuff that's in here. So I'll just put in create custom option. And in this case, I'm going to put call, uh, size. And what's good about Shopify now is it actually gives you some default sizes in here. So if this was a t-shirt, it would actually show me 
like small, medium, large, you know, so it's kind of smart. If I actually uh, indicated that this was uh, apparel and t-shirts, then it'll start populating some of the information database that they've pre-populated with information for that particular um, product st type, okay? So right now we're just gonna put in uh, size and we're gonna put in one ounce and we're gonna put in two ounce and we're gonna put in eight ounce and we're gonna, that's, that's all we're putting in. So we hit done. So now I've got my sizes in here and uh, say I wanted to have color as another one. So I'll say another one and I'll create custom option. I'm gonna call it color and then we're gonna go uh, black and then we'll go blue and we'll go red. The only reason I'm adding these is just so you can see how it's how you add them. So now I've got one ounce and I have three variants under it. So I've got black, blue, red. Okay, two ounce, black, blue, red. Okay, so each one of the two ounces has a color associated to it now. So each one of those colors also has its own price and its own availability, right? And so since I'm tracking this. I have, I just already, I just collapse them all. So it looks like that. So I open them all up so I can work on them quickly. So say the black is 1995, that's fine. But blue is 2195, right? And say I have only uh, one of this. And then I hit the tab a bunch of times and then go to the next one. I hit three. And then this one, red's going to be 2495. And I've got um, eight of these. Right, and so I could do the same thing. So two ounces is going to be more. So I can go twenty-one. Uh, notice how it updated the rest of my other ones when I did this. Twenty-one ninety-five, and then I'm going to go here and go down to the next one, which is going to be, um, say this is twenty-two or twenty-two ninety-five, and then twenty-four ninety-five. And so I'm going to say I've got two, I've got four, and I've got six. So now that I have inventory for each of those, now I'll do the same thing here. I've got the eight ounce, which is the bigger one, so $29.95. And then I'll go down here, and black's $29.95, and I'm gonna keep it at uh, 10. And this one's $31.95. And then this one has uh, four, and then this one is red for $39.95. So now I've got these, I'm just as a habit, I just click save, so now that I have it, and then I can take a look at this product now and see what it's going to look like. I'll go ahead and refresh it. And now I've got one ounce, two ounce, eight ounces. And see how it, it's, it's crossed out because I put that sale price in there. So two ounce, and you got blue, that, and it's going to tell me the quantity. So it does, I don't have, you know, red, right? Eight ounce, so let's see, right? Red, sold out. So why is red sold out? Let's take a look at that. So eight ounce red. So eight ounce red is saying it's sold out. Yeah, see, I have zero, so I didn't put any in there. So I'll put a two in there, and then I'll save it again. And you can scroll to the top and click on preview, but I'm just having it open in another tab. Now I'm going to refresh, and now what it does is it's going to let me eventually, there we go. Okay, you got to refresh it a couple times sometimes because uh, Shopify's cache will uh, will take a, take a few seconds. Sometimes it's like a minute. So... Don't get mad if you're sitting here refreshing and it doesn't update. Just give it a little time and then come back and refresh. Sometimes you can use incognito or private browsing window and then you can come back and, and, and you can actually see it a little faster, but it really depends on the cache on Shopify side and not really your browser, okay? So now I've got two, I've got blue, and now I can add these. But I don't like these buttons, you know, and the buttons are fine, right? But I want it to have drop downs or I want it to look another way. So you have to actually go into so right now, let me, uh, we'll change that in a second, but let's take a look at how we change the images for these. So if I wanted to have images on these variants, so you have the variants that are controlled at the top, right? But then you wanna scroll down to these where you see these actual images right here. So if you notice this, there's one main image, so I, or there are all images for each one. So I can select one image that'll be just for the main product, right? And then, it's going to populate the rest of them. Well, if I have a different image for blue, I can put in blue. And notice how the other one stayed the same, but blue changed, right? So I got one ounce and I got blue. I'm just going to say done here. Let's just say save and let's go to the front end now. Now, if I go to the front end and I refresh, I've got one ounce. I got blue, red. Why is it not changing? Let's see. 
one ounce blue. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's give it a minute. There we go. Okay, so my one ounce is my is my image. My eight ounce is my image. My blue, my red, right? But the only one that changes is the two ounce blue. And that should change to my product, but it's not doing it. Let's see here. Is it one ounce? Black. Two ounce. Let's try the other ones. Here. So then I'll change black to be a black. And then I'll change red to be red. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Let's look at the front end. Yeah, one ounce black, there's my image. One ounce blue, one ounce red. Red, there we go. Just makes my internet connection. Okay. So now I want to change these bubbles to be a drop down. So in order to do that, um, so right now I got an image, I got the price, I have inventory, right? So my inventory. So once this runs out, I need to come back in here and put more in. So, and then also you want to make sure if you want to do those images, do them for each one of these, right? So it looks professional. And then we're going to leave the rest of this alone, okay? So next we're going to hit save, and then we're going to go over to the online store here. Hit save. It's not liking what I'm doing. Hit discard, whatever. Hit online store, and then we're going to go into the customizer here. Click customize. And then we're going to find the product page at the top here. So we're going to go to products. And then we're going to go default product. Now, if you look over here, you can just click this box and it says variant picture. But look at this pills or drop down. So now I've got a drop down. So then I got square. You now, this, these no longer will affect anything. But I'm going to go ahead and save this first. And then we'll take a look at my pretty thing now. So now I've got drop downs. Okay. So it's the same functionality. All right, one red, there we go. Okay, 